this place today Holy Spirit come and have your way Have your way This is your house Your home We welcome you Lord we welcome you This is your house your home we welcome you today as we offer up our hearts and life let them be a living sacrifice have your way this is your house your home we welcome you lord we welcome you this is your house your home we welcome you today look to your covenant o lord and forget not the life of your poor ones forever arise o god and defend your cause and forget not the cries of those who seek you in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit brethren let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries i confess to almighty god and to my brothers and sisters that i have greatly sinned in my thoughts in my words in what i have done and in what i have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault the phrayas blessed mary a virgin all the angels and saints and to my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen Lord have mercy Lord have mercy Christ have mercy Christ have mercy Lord have mercy Lord have mercy Let us pray Almighty ever living God whom taught by the holy spirit we dare to call our father bring we pray to perfection in our hearts the spirit of adoption as your sons and daughters that we may merit to enter into the inheritance which you have promised through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen circumcise your heart love the stranger for you were a stranger first reading a reading from the book of deuteronomy chapter 10 verses from 12 to 22 moses said to the people now israel what does the lord your god require of you but to fear the lord your god to walk in all his ways to love him to serve the lord your god with all your heart and with all your soul and to keep the commandments and statutes of the lord which i command you this day for your good behold to the lord your god belong heaven and heaven of heavens the earth and with all that it is in yet the lord set his heart in love upon you fathers and chose their descendants after them you above your people as at this day circumcise 
Circumcise therefore the foreskin of your heart, and be no longer stubborn. For the Lord your God is the Lord God of the lords, the great, the mighty, and the terrible God, who is not partial and takes no bribe. He executes justice for the fatherless and the widow, and loves the sojourn, giving him food and clothing. He loves the sojourner, therefore, for you were a sojourner in the in the land of Egypt. You shall fear your Lord, your God, and you shall serve him and cleave to him, and by his name you shall swear. He is your praise, he is your God. He has done for you these great and terrible things which your eyes have seen. Your father went down to the Egypt seventy persons, and now the Lord your God has made you as the stars of heaven for multitude. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. Your response shall be, O oh, praise the Lord Jerusalem. O oh, praise, praise the Lord, Lord Jerusalem. O oh, praise the Lord Jerusalem. Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He had blessed the children within you. Your response. O oh, praise the Lord Jerusalem. He has established peace on your borders. He feeds you with finest wheat. He sends out his words to the earth and swiftly runs his command. Your response. O oh, praise the Lord Jerusalem. He makes his words known to Jacob, to Israel, his laws and decrees. He has not dealt thus with the other nations. He has not taught him his decrees. Your response. O oh, praise the Lord Jerusalem. Sing Alleluia to the Lord. Sing Alleluia to the Lord. Sing Alleluia. Sing Alleluia. Sing Alleluia to the Lord. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Sing Alleluia to the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Gospel of Matthew, chapter 17, verses 22 to 27. As Jesus and his disciples were gathering in Galilee, Jesus said to them, The Son of Man is to be delivered into the hands of men, and they will kill him, and he will be raised on the third day. And they were greatly disturbed. When they, were, they came to Capernaum, the collectors of, collectors of the half sickle, half sickle tax went up to Peter and said, Does not your teacher pay the tax? He said, Yes. And when he came home, Jesus spoke to him first saying, what do you think, Simon? From whom do the kings of the earth take toil or tribute? From their sons or from others? And when he said, from others, Jesus said to him, Then the sons are free, however, not to give offense to them, go to the sea and cast a hook and take the first face that comes up and when you open its mouth, you will find a shekel. Take, the, take that and give it to them for me and for yourself. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ.
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we praise you. Father, we praise you. Jesus, we adore you. Jesus, we adore you. Holy Spirit, God, we love you. Holy Spirit, God, we love you. My dear friends in Christ, in today's readings, teaching us how to serve the Lord. We are here to serve the Lord as a Christians. But in today's first reading, God clearly tells that as we read in Psalm chapter 2 verse 9, if you want to serve the Lord, you have to serve the Lord with fear. And not only with fear, you have to serve this Lord with all your heart and all your soul. It is not a joke. You have, if you are desired to serve the Lord, you should not think about the worldly things. You have to focus yourself only on the Lord. You have to focus yourself with all your heart and all your might. Then only you can serve the Lord. So that the word of God clearly says in Sirach chapter 2 verses 4, 2 onwards. Here, my dear child, do you like to serve the Lord? Yes, it is good. But prepare yourself. Prepare yourselves because on your way you are going to find all kind of the trials and tribulations. So that today when Jesus was uh, telling about the foreseeing about his own uh, passion and death and the resurrection, they were not much welcoming that because they were thinking that this Jesus will redeem them from the hands of the Romans. They are always the, uh, uh, the disciples or the uh, Jewish people or the Jewish, uh, um, or Jewish authorities, they were thinking that Jesus as a messiah Jesus as a messiah of the worldly sight he will come and he will destroy the uh, Roman kingdom and he will establish his own kingdom but it is not in the worldly kingdom and Jesus clearly knows that he has to undergo the trials and tribulations and the passion and the cross, then only he will receive the glory of God. Because he knows very well how to serve the Lord. For what purpose he has come to this world? Yes, my dear friends in Christ, in today's, our, our day-to-day -day life, we are also undergoing many kinds of trials and tribulations and sufferings in our families, in our communities, in our parishes, wherever we are. Many people may betray us. Things will not happen as we are liking, we, as we are, as we desire. But keep it in your mind Whenever you are ready to serve the Lord, you are giving your life to serve the Lord, you have to expect, add to that, you have to suffer. You have to face the consequences of the all kinds of these uh, trials and tribulations. So, wherever God put you, Serving Lord means only it is not serve the Lord in the church or the uh, 
retreat centers or the uh, prayer centers but serving the lord where god you god put you maybe in your families maybe where you are working there god has chosen you god has kept you to do his will in that family in that workplace in that community so keep it all this in your mind and serve the lord with all your heart and all your soul and all your strength amen half a tree yours as we stand at the table you said yours as we eat the bread our hearts can't forget we are the signs of your life with us yet we are yours we are yours take our bread we ask you take our hearts we love you take our lives O oh, Father, we are yours, we are yours. Take our bread, we ask you take our heart, we love you take our lives. O oh, Father, we are yours, we are yours. Your holy people stand washed in your blood. Spirit fill yet hungry, we wait your food. Pado we have brought ourselves to you we are yours we are yours take our bread we ask you take our heart we love you take our lives oh father we are yours we are yours. take our bread We ask you take our hearts we love you take our lives o oh, father we are yours we are yours pray brother and that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to the lord our god may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for the good and good of all his holy church be pleased to o lord to accept the offerings of your church for in your mercy you have given given them to be offered and by your power you transform them into the majesty of your salvation through our lord jesus christ amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks Lord holy father almighty and eternal father for you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the redeemer to live like us in all things but sin so that you might love in us what you loved in your son by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience and so lord with all the angels and saints we to give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim holy 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 lord god of host heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness 
Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Holy Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Tumabala our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command, formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trust against us. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant her peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus, you said, dear apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The bread that I I will give, says the Lord, is my flesh for the life of the world. Let us pray. May the communion in your sacrament that we have consumed save us, O Lord, and conform us in the light of your truth through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is centered. Go and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.